Hey guys, welcome back to the show that we do called Ask With Me. and shoot over to FIFO because he looks like he has a shirt in his hand. What is that? Well, actually, Ken got the info. Oh. Yeah, this I'm is, uh, this is a, a UK inspired shirt. Uh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you must have all of <laughs> You must have all of <laughs> Okay. This is a new design that, that Rod came up with. Um, the shirt is, the, you see this right here? This is actually the dead end sign that's over there in the UK. Hey. So Rod, Rod hooked it up, man. So everybody, are, you know, over in the UK, you can go ahead and cop these, head over to deadandhiphop.com, hit the merch tab, and, um, and go awesome. pick up one. So why the UK in particular? Yeah, why the UK in particular? Do you know? Do you know yeah, that? Because they like the second, and like the second largest fan base. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, why didn't you ask a question and answer Because yourself? I just, That's I just, weird. I was Another trying, trivia question. I was trying to alley, alley. You asked him, alley, 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 Sweden, South Africa, Ireland, Brazil, New Zealand, France, Denmark. Okay, so hey guys, we have a question here from Dele Yassine. And they wanna know, hey guys, uh, you're probably expecting this question, but what are your thoughts on the Troy Ave and Joey Badass team? <laughs> <laughs> what, what? What is funny? <laughs> Anytime I hear Troy Ave's name, I just giggle. <laughs> oh, I, I was like, okay, shit. <laughs> that whole beat so wack. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> Y'all gotta fill me in because I don't know. Okay. Anyways, um, what are your thoughts on the Troy Ave and Joey Badass beef that led to the diss track in which Troy disses the deceased rapper Steez and his interview with Sway explaining it as him believing that people are taking their own lives? And then it just continues. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. I know he said all that. Yeah, um, man, dog, like, yeah, it was totally. totally yeah, y'all gotta, y'all gotta fill me in on this. So, um, he wants to know, did it? Did he take it too far where there should be no limits into rap beeps? And what is your stance on what he said in the Sway interview? First, RIP Bankroll Fresh. Um, he was killed, uh, murdered Friday, Friday over night. the weekend. Yeah, Friday night um, here in Atlanta. 50 shell casings mm. um, were fired, man. And uh, he was an up and coming rapper here in Atlanta, man. R roll with uh, um, Last I Checked with Gucci and shit like that. But um, tragic, man. We just tragic. But anyway. He was too tragic. Huh? Yeah. Was two chains. Two chains. Where, where, okay. Two chains. Okay. Metro Boomin. All oh, the whole crew. Uh, uh, yeah, every, every pretty much everybody from Atlanta. Um, what's the uh, a whole bunch of Street is yeah, Street is yeah, yeah. Street is that. Yeah, yeah. Street is so that. anyway, um, I know things. So yeah, RIP to him. Um, to this beef. Um, it's absolutely. First of all, the diss track was absolutely whack. Badass by Troy F. It it was. Who diss him? Troy Ave. Well, well start, yeah, Badass dissed him first. Right. So oh, start there. And this yeah. all started over record sales. Mm -hmm. And we all know what happened with Troy Ave. If you don't know Troy Ave, so what, 5,000 or so records when he put his album out major without a deal. And Joey Badass kind of took a shot at him because he sold 60K his first week. And then Troy Ave took a shot at him saying that he was backed by the label secretly. And so they kind of went back and forth with that. So. Joey eventually dropped a, a song called Ready. And in that song, Ready, he said, Kurt Knight sold more records than Troy Ave. And that was the first shot fired. And then I, Troy Ave called wind of it and recorded the diss track Badass and put it out. And in that, he dissed Capital Steez. He right. said Capital Steez is burning, burning in hell. hell. Yeah. Oh shit. Exactly. So that's really the issue. Right? Yeah. yeah. The track is probably the worst thing I've heard this year. <laughs> and I wish I could say Troy was better than that. But nevertheless, um, so that was that. What he said was offensive. Of course, people took, of course reacted to that. Then he not not only did he double down, he tripled down on Sway in the morning. Mm. That interview is probably one of the worst interviews I've heard, the most disrespectful interview by somebody that I've, I've ever heard, the way he attacked Capital Steve um, for taking his life. And Sway and Heather B tried 
to rein him in. Mm -hmm. And it's like the it more they tried to, to rein him in, the worse he became. He was calling him names. Mm. The stuff he said on record was even was was, wow. was light. What did he Why say did he so in the interview? What was what name was he calling him? Oh, he was he was just just saying that he was he was a coward for taking his own life. Wow. Um, wow. sucker, all mm. kind of stuff like that, man. It was it was wow. it was disgusting to listen to, and and Sway's like, well, man, you gotta understand that sometimes. Like, there's depression is a real thing. Right. Uh, schizophrenia, all this, there are real mental issues that people deal with. Yeah. It may not have been in his control. Right. Troy Ave didn't want to hear it. He didn't buy that at all. He was like, well, you know, my man's dealing with real issues and he's still here, he's not killing himself. That was his uh, reply. Are you serious? Yes, that was his you reply. Know, and it was, it was, <laughs> it was the worst, man. It was the, Sway and him, they were so disgusted by him that and and you're rightfully so because if you guys if you guys ever get a chance i don't even want you guys to hear it but to mm -hmm. actually understand how terrible this was you have to hear it mm -hmm. like i was literally getting upset by everything he was saying you know um because it was it was absolutely uncalled for your issue is with joey badass right right not with like capital steve's, steve's and it exactly. sounded like he had a personal issue with capital steve's with the way he was going to, Sway is like, yo, like this dude is not here to defend himself. Exactly. Yeah. And it was like, that's not my fault. Like this what? dude is dude. disgusting, wow. Ruthless, man. Dude. Wow. And he and he kept his Christ. his whole thing was, I deal in facts, and what's reported is what I was talking about, and that was his whole defense. What facts? The fact that, that somebody's Troy burning in hell. That's a fact. Troy, no, no, well, the, the Troy fuck are you talking himself. about? But yeah, man, it was it was it was a. It was a dark moment, like a terrible moment for for hip hop beefs in general. Yeah. And 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 I get the whole there are no rules in, in rap beef. But, that, but come no, on, no, 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 no. like there, I, there's I think, lines and boundaries. There are no rules, but there's lines and boundaries. He clearly crossed a whole bunch of them because just hearing you talk, he's not my homie. But if you talked about my dead homie like that, when I see you, it's it, it's physical. It felt it's like physical. It, I, it, if they it's, were listening to that, that they would probably they were, take it there. They're not here to defend themselves, and you're right. taking a personal attack on them you know say for no reason your beef is with me so I'm gonna bring it to you like and I and I'm not really I don't like to be that confrontational I definitely have a mouth and if I have to back it up I will back it up but I wouldn't want to have to take it there but that is highly disrespectful yeah, and I think highly the thing is, disrespectful. I, you could probably say there's no rules in hip-hop you know whatever but it's the interview it's the interview that that makes yeah, it worse top, yeah. yeah that that's the part where he just kept going in because this was your moment to say, you know what? Apologize. Yeah. You did apologize but, to the nah. family of Capital C's. Because, right. I mean, Royce did it. Royce yeah, did when it he before. said that shit about proof. Uh, yeah, he about proof. Up and, proof. Yep, and a man, yeah. Um, yeah, Bugs, too, is a guy that used to be a former D12 mm -hmm. member. He said something like, and in the beginning of Michael Max, he was like, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, Royce was man enough to do it, even though at the moment he was hot and mm -hmm. about the situation. Mm -hmm. He, could, he, he did it on record, where the fact, I mean, we didn't have the interview in social media back then, so he did it on a full record, and then he went at D12, <laughs> which made And that's what good. you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, man. Just As man a up. Adult, just, yeah, 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 this is an adult, up. period. Yeah, if he knew that was disrespect, where was like, yo, I apologize, blase, blase. So, that, like you said, that could have been Trey's Ave way to be like, yo, you know, I think what I said was out of line, da, 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 da. But he doesn't yeah. think it's out of line, that's the problem. Yeah, he but the thing about it is, I still don't think that there are, I don't think there's boundaries in a rap beef. You can say whatever the fuck you want, but just like you said, just because there's no boundaries in rap beef, that does not protect you from getting handled yeah. if somebody sees you. Right. So you can say anything you want. You have every right to say everything you want, but if you have 13 fucking, you know, Jamaican fucking skateboarders riding up on you that fuck you up, Troy Ab, then don't say anything afterwards. Don't be like, oh, that's some sucker shit. Well, that was some sucker shit that you did. Yeah. You attacking a dead person. What the fuck kind of shit is that? I feel like that's downplaying, like, um, you know, whatever he's going through to have committed suicide anyway. You know what of I'm course. saying? Of course. Because, like, also the person in the question says, you know, as a person who, you know, relates to clinical depression, he feels like it's extremely ignorant to talk about issues yes. and not have a clue about what's going yep. on. Right, exactly. Like, for you to, for you to, do, like, now that, you know, Ken has informed us on, like, what actually happened, I feel like that's extremely ignorant and that's not empathetic at all like and for you to use that you know what i'm saying as ammo to like get back at somebody else that is just so like i think it's because troy Ave has nothing else that better be joey badass sold better than him joey badass is a 
way better rapper than him. He's torn, he's Joey torn, Badass so. has way more respect than him. Yeah. So Troy Ab doesn't really have anything that he can say. It's just like you get into a fight with your boy and your boy, you can't do anything with your girl ugly. What the fuck's that gotta do with me? That's got nothing to do with me. I think Troy Ab just doesn't have any ammo. Because I've that's said bad. on record, Troy Ab is terrible. That's and that's not a personal attack against him. He's, maybe he might, well I can't say he's a nice guy after this, but you know, his music is horrible. But after this, I'm just like, God damn, dude, like you just made a complete ass of yourself in public. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of people like Styles P lost, um, I, was kind of, I was looking yeah. for the actual yeah. but he lost his daughter to suicide. Yeah. And, um, and he, he called out, you know, Troy Ave, Royce said something to Troy Ave about it. And they're saying oh, that- Royce said something to you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. People are calling him out. ASAP Mob. Okay. Mm, called him out. Good. People are calling him out. Good. And saying he went too far. Anything? Yeah, I think they said he did apologize to Styles P. Um, I don't know, let's see you know, if that was correct. It's the wrong person. Yeah. That's the wrong yeah. person. Yeah. And that's what people are saying. Like, you, Royce said, Royce, the five doors to Troy, you owe Capital C's family an apology. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and that's the thing, like, he forgot that there are other people right. that are involved that's exactly. attached to this on a personal exactly. level. They have lost somebody that they care dearly about. And it's still a loss, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, just because it's suicide doesn't mean that other people didn't lose out. Right. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't mean that he's weak, that Capital C's was weak or yeah. anything like that. You that does not mean that. Right. Exactly. You don't know what people have going on in their life because you're not part of their life. Basically, it boils down to what, what, what Troy Ab did was some seriously sucker shit. Yeah. If you got a problem with Joey Badass, go with Joey Badass. Yeah. You know, don't. It, it's a real weak thing to attack someone that can't say shit back. So, not that I had, I mean, I had respect for him because I didn't really know him, but whatever amount of respect I had for him is completely gone. So here's what, what Styles P had to say. When you have no sensitivity towards others' pain, that ain't being gangster. What? That's right. being a fucking creep. If you never experience a family member committing suicide, you have no fucking idea about that pain, none. Mm. I really like Troy Ave and want to see him win. I just was really offended by his remarks on Sway, probably because I like him and he spoke so harsh. And then Troy's response to him was, um, I respect it, OG. You've been a supporter, but I know suicide is a touchy subject and it and hits close to home. Matter of fact, if any of my fans was offended by me saying all people who commit suicides are bozos, my bad. I never purposely diss my real ones. My bad. You can't say my bad. You just can't. And he That's just no. He did say all. Exactly. I am sorry. Sorry. Right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, yeah. You gotta expound. It's like. My bad. No. Like you can't. No. no, you like. Come on, man. You crossed a major that. line. Yeah, you did. I sincerely apologize for my yeah. comments on wow. Sway in yeah. the morning because yeah. I was being disrespectful. Right. And I keep it moving. Bozo. Exactly. I'm being wow. a bozo. I apologize to anybody that has been affected by my comments and keep it moving from that point. Yeah. My bad. That's just. Yeah. That's just too much. Sometimes it goes past rap. Like, like I said, there's no boundaries in a beef. If you want to say whatever you want to say on a record, that's a record. But when you go out and you're talking out your face in an interview, that's right. a different story. Yep. So freedom of speech is not freedom from consequence, bruh. So if yep. you lose all 12 of your fans, that's cool. on you. That's on you. That's, that's fucked up. For me to just be hearing about who this is as a person and this is what you did, like, I, like for me to not hear about you based off of music, you know what I'm saying, and off of this, that says a lot, I feel like. I, w I kind of wanted him to win too, because what he was doing was so dope. I mean, even if it's only 5,000 copies, whatever. Was he was building an indie empire. And I listened to his music after someone said something, I didn't really care for it, but I was still like, that's cool what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I support that, that's awesome. Independent hustle. Yeah, that independent hustle, but now I'm just like, it's hard to God. support somebody like that. Yeah, yeah. it is. It that. is. Yeah. Like I don't have to like your music or anything like that. Like we we like what we like, we listen to what we listen to. That's when you you have people that like that. Right. But now it's like you you hear stuff like this, like, come on, dog, like how how can I endorse wanna publicly support you or probably or whatever? After doing something like that, it's like I you really want them to like just fail and disappear. But Ken, it's it's like for me personally, I feel like yeah, that sucks that he said that, but it would have been better for him to have drafted an apology at least that he gave a fuck about. You know what I'm saying? Like that we could have been like, okay, let me graft onto this, but you like there was no comeback. That's my issue with it. Like mm -hmm. there was no thought out 
planned out process comeback to where he could be like, oh, like I'm sincerely sorry. And then he did something for the family to where people was like, oh, that was fucked up what you said, but we can get past it. Yeah. We can't even get past mm -hmm. it because what you said wasn't sincere. Right, we all, like we all get about. caught up in the moment. We're all emotional in, in the moment of whatever we're doing. Yeah, but, but to not even apologize, like to not even, like to, your ego is too big to like be like, oh, I fucked yeah. up here. Like to admit, that's yeah, gonna yeah. affect yeah. your brand worse than right. anything. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's what we know you about it's, you said it perfectly for me to hear about Troy Ave over this and not his music is a problem exactly so thank you Della Yassine for your question don't forget to send the rest of your questions to ask at deadandhiphop.com or to our twitter ask d-e-h-h -H. I don't know why that was so spaced out but until next time we'll see you guys later bye